Well, Aaron, the management of the Carmel River Lagoon is really a two-fold process. In the winter, the sandbar out here is breached so that the river can flow freely out to the ocean and preventing flooding from surrounding areas. But in the summer, the opposite is true. They actually build up the sandbar so no water can come in and out. And that's exactly what they did today. All part of an effort to save a threatened fish. Heavy equipment started moving tons of sand Monday morning, enough sand to fill 120 large dump trucks. They're closing a channel that connects the Carmel River Lagoon with the ocean and in the process, hoping to help save the threatened steelhead trout that are too young to survive in the ocean. The steelhead are still able to, to breed and to grow. Uh, we are just trying to optimize that habitat so that they're able to, more of them are able to mature further so that next winter when the lagoon is ready and they're ready to go out to sea, they're healthy and strong. If the channel isn't blocked, the lagoon will dry up during the summer. Water levels too low for the steelhead trout to thrive. We're in a better position this year, but still not very good. This year's rain brought enough water that the river flowed all the way to the ocean, allowing steelhead trout to spawn upriver. Possibly as many as 300 steelhead trout may have gone upriver the most in the last four years of this historic drought. But what also went upstream are striped bass, which eat other fish and compete with steelhead for food. We found stripers up to 30 inches in the river, and wherever they saw stripers, they saw no steelhead. So, you know, we can't prove cause and effect, but anyone who fishes believes stripers eat steelhead. So any fish coming down the river trying to make it to the lagoon has a tough road to hoe. Hmm. So really some mixed news coming out today regarding the threatened steelhead trout, but today some action taken to ensure at least a summer home for the fish here at the Carmel River Lagoon. Aaron. Felix, thank you. A more permanent plan for managing the Carmel River Lagoon is currently in the works and a preliminary environmental impact report is expected to be released next month for public review.